So this is a Yanmar fuel injection valve. And this is a fuel injection nozzle. We're gonna replace it and adjust the opening pressure. Let's go. All right, first, let's see where the fuel for the injector comes from. Here we can see the fuel pumps and the joint pipe. The fuel pumps are timed by the camshaft and send high pressure fuel to the injector, as observed here. Let's assemble an injector valve with the third engineer to see the main parts. First is a lock nut, followed by a pressure adjusting nut. Then we place a distance piece washer, followed by a spring shoe guide. To maintain alignment of the injector spring, we place an upper spring retainer, then the fuel injector spring, which will then push the following nozzle seat. Here we place two parallel pins and blow to clean the surface from any dirt. Once the surface is clean, we place a spacer over the nozzle seat, aligning the orifice where the fuel will pass. We clean the spacer and two more parallel pins are placed. I'll show you soon in a diagram why it's important to keep these surfaces clean. But finally, we place the new nozzle over the pins by aligning the fuel orifice, as you can see. To secure the entire piece, we place the injector case nut and with a torque wrench adjusted to 175 newton meters, we tighten until we hear the torque wrench click twice for assurance. Now that we've got the valve and nozzle assembled, let's set the opening pressure. First, we tighten the injection pipe to the nozzle tester and add some diesel for testing opening pressure. After we pair up and tighten the injector valve with the tester, then we place a handle that we're going to use to send 45 megapascals of pressure to the injector. First, we see the starting pressure, and since it's too low, we must adjust the pressure regulating nut to push against the spring, and then lock the position with the lock nut on top. Afterwards, we must continue to loosen or tighten the pressure regulating nut until the opening pressure is at 45 megapascals. Remember that when locking with the lock nut, the opening pressure might change, so keep testing. Oh, there we go. Okay. And there you can see me. And while I have a try with another injector, let me try to summarize all we've done in a diagram. Here you can see the injector with the parts I previously demonstrated. Here is the nozzle holder, which will receive fuel from the fuel pump through the high pressure injection pipe. Then the two nuts with the distance piece washer, the spring shoe, upper retainer, spring, nozzle seat, spacer, and nozzle with its needle. So by tightening the lock nut and adjusting the opening pressure of the needle to 45 megapascals, we make it so that when high pressure fuel from the fuel pump enters the valve, the fuel goes through this line and pushes the needle up. The remaining fuel with its pressure enters the cylinder as an atomized spray through the nozzle. Pretty cool, right? The reason why we clean these surfaces beforehand was because if there's something between the surfaces once we tighten, there will be damage and high pressure fuel may leak out. Therefore, when placing these pieces, it's important to clean properly.
And that's it for this video about injectors and changing their nozzles. Remember that all maintenance should be followed according to the planned maintenance schedule and if you're going to change nozzles, you should change it for all six injectors. And finally, this newbie is very happy to see all the new subscribers as well as all the messages on Instagram. Success to you all, seafarers.